Hello my dear brethren, I hope you are doing very well, um, even though we are all in lockdown and coping with the situation is going on around the world. Um, today the video is to explain um, some visions that the Most High gave me. Uh, two days ago, precisely. Um, saying what's gonna happen after or what's gonna come uh, after the coronavirus um keeps a bit quieter what's gonna happen next what's gonna take place next and uh, he showed me uh, some people being in a queue queuing up it seemed like they were queuing up for shopping uh but then I was somewhere around that side. I don't know if I was queuing up as well or not. I can't remember very well. But I remember staying kind of like um, in a place close by um, until a person turns to me and I was talking and I said, so what's going to happen after all this? And then he just turns around and says, oh, everything for now is okay, but... People still coping with it and still going um, by the norms, but uh, very soon things are going to change, you know, like people becoming more aggressive, more fed up, and this uh, stress and anxiety leading them into ways of um, riot and from rioting to um, be a pandemic, financial pandemic uh be hitting on people financial crisis uh the pandemic of financial crisis being hitting on people and so many people will be turned and tempted to to live in ways that are fraudulent and corrupt so um this is not just the ones that usually do it but anyone even the brethren and close family members of mine, you know. So it seemed like everyone was engaging in those ways of living and fraudulent ways of living because even though the government is like promising to give some help, financial help for people and companies and, and stuff like that, you know, uh, it seems like they not really going to be, you know, f very faithful to to their promises, and because things are really happening one after the other, there is, a, you know, this coronavirus, but there's also um, climate changes and you know a lot of cat catastrophes caused by nature and a lot of destruction so it's gonna be getting at that point that government themselves not even gonna have that much money to reconstruct and put everything in place because a lot of money is being thrown away being you know not really thrown away but it's like requested you know for um dealing with all of this and the money that they don't even have they don't even making anymore you know just money being poured out so people will be in, soon in a rush of engaging this fraudulent stuff the same way as they were rushing for stockpiling they're going to be soon engaging to rushing for um into fraudulent stuff now and there was a lot of sense of like a uh, problem to do with technology as well. I don't know if it's to do with this uh, G5, but I felt there was a lot of issues to do with technology as well, problems. Um, and then I heard a voice saying um, the best way out of it is to move to Africa. I've never been to Africa before, to be honest to you guys, even though my my background my my region is from africa i never been there before um uh but i'm not saying that because i'm from africa but it's because mostly it's because 
especially when it comes to technology is the best way to run away from it because uh, the countries of the north they are very into technology and to run away from this mark of the beast because if people don't have um, this probably this uh, microchip and engaging in the 5g you know this is going to be really hard to survive so it's going to be pressurizing people into getting this microchip because of you won't be able to do nothing without internet without technology and because africa is not so much into it yet so that's kind of a way of saying that there's a way to manage to to survive until the end without being so tempted into falling in this you know all of these temptations okay and also if uh, in africa if you don't have food you, you can always get uh, food in your farms if you don't have a place to live or how to pay your bills you know it's it's still easy to manage to survive you know what i mean you can make your own homes you can make you can build your own homes and stuff like that you know um whether in a, in a rich way or in a poor way, you know, but it's hard to see people, homeless people in in uh, Africa, you know what I mean? But anyways, and then after that, uh, there was a lot of people that, for some reason, there was an, a particular object that people were um, searching a lot, which was watches. Uh, like men watches, uh, golden men watches, and people were asking me if I knew where to get them because, like, uh, I live in England and they were like from abroad and stuff like that. They were asking me if I could find, um, you know, cheap watches here in England and to send it to them. And I was like, no, I don't know, you know, what I mean, um, they wanted to profit a lot from that and stuff like that, you know, what I mean, so. It's going to be a lot of, uh, all I had in my mind was uh, how do I get out from England and go to Africa because now all flights is uh, cancelled and, you know, unless somebody goes by boat, but there's also danger on it, you know. Um, but anyways, you know, that's that's I'm just what I'm ch uh, sharing with you guys, the visions that I had and there was a lot of uh, darkness into it a lot of uh, you know if I'm gonna explain uh, like anxiety into it in the dream you know not only from me but from other people as well you know it seems like everybody was in a rush you know because the more other people start doing it first before anyone else it's uh, less chances to profit so that's why everybody was trying to be quick on it, um, to be able to profit the most, you know. So now I just want to share a vision that uh, the brother, our brother, um, shared with me. It used to do with Mark of the Beast and the two witnesses. And uh, he said that he was in this place and there was a massive queue. Uh, people were lining up and he was at the back of it. He just arrived at that place and he asked, well, what is this line for? And um, the person said to him, this is the mark, uh, this is the cue for those who are to get the mark of the beast. So once people would get the mark of the beast, he said that they would turn into beasts looking like beasts. Their face changed completely. Now, I don't know if this obviously going to be what is going to happen, which I doubt it, but that they will come out looking like beasts, but I believe their spirit be transformed into being a beast. Um, then there was an, another line. Sorry, guys. There was another line. There was uh, only a few people on it. And this was the line to queuing up for the gates of heaven. And he was queuing up for that line then he said that when reached to his um, turn he saw the two witnesses standing in front of the gate 
both the, the female and the male witnesses standing in front of the gate and they were the ones actually deciding if people qualified or not to, to enter. And behind those gates was uh, Jesus sitting on his throne and also the, um, or the prophets were there also. Um, he said he bowed down for them and greet them. Peace be with you. That's what he said. And uh, they greet back to him and he entered it. Uh, but those who didn't qualify, they told them to go to the line of the mark of the beast or something like that. Um, and yeah, this is for now the message that I have. I know it's not very... Probably don't know if it's what you expected to hear or not, but, you know, unfortunately, there's so many bad things happening and, uh, you know, uh, just keep strong, keep the faith, keep uh, hoping and doing your prayers, your fastings, if you can, just keep your mentality and your sanity um, in good, in good spirit, you know. Um... And like I was saying to you guys, just avoid to watch the news and just try to, to live a normal life as much as you can, you know, even if it's indoors. Um, try to talk a lot with people, you know, making fo phone calls to, you know, friends and family because uh, it's important that we keep in touch with them, not only for our own selves, but for their, their own sake as well. Um, and that they'll be inspired and, and, and guided and not afraid of nothing not lonely okay because a lot of people going through a lot of depression and committing suicide and so my dear brethren i just pray that you all be guided and protected and may the hands of the most high god keep upon you all and um have a blessed weekend and i say all these words in the name of our lord jesus christ amen bye bye